All right, let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. They did it. They actually did it. Yes. F zero. Is this F the F zero ninety nine that was rumored? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Lens of Truth, with me, Ivan Florentino. For today's video, it's going to be a very quick review of F-Zero 99. And as you can see my reaction to the Nintendo Direct, I was very happy with the rumors being true that they released an F-Zero Battle Royale online game. And this makes perfect sense for that 99 style game like Tetris 99, Pac-Man, and then Mario 35. And after putting close to five hours in the game, I must say this is an addicting, addicting experience. It's so fun to see all 99 racers just going mayhem, bumping into each other in these tracks. And this is an easy game to play, hard to master because you do have to memorize the tracks. And it does a great job of starting off with 25 other racers, although CPU, then it moves up to 50 and then finally you unlock 99. And then you're able to unlock the Grand Prix and then play with 99 other live racers. So let's talk about the gameplay for a moment. Anyone who's brand new to the F-Zero series, it's a futuristic racer on a 3D map. And one of the things that's really cool is that it is a hardcore racing game, but it, it is an arcade style racer where it's easy to pick up for anyone, even if you're brand new to the series. And what's really cool is that it's risk versus reward, meaning that on the second lap, your turbo boost activates, meaning you can use this. However, it drains that bar. So it's both your health bar and your boost bar. And one of the things that they added from the F-Zero X, the Nintendo 64 game, was this spinning attack, which also recharges a few seconds after you use it. So you are able to attack other players, bump into them, and crash them. And what also drains your health is bumping into the side of the map and there's also hazards in some of the levels like mines or electric borders. This game really is about strategic racing and survival which makes it very fun. One of the newest additions to this game are the super sparks and these could be found throughout the entire race as yellow orbs or bumping into these special larger ships, larger machines and once this meter fills up a skyway track appears right above the basic track and not only is this a strategic move to use in tricky areas like tight turns, but this also changes the game in that although this is the only randomized part of the game, it isn't unfair because a lot of this is earned because you do have to go out of your way to earn those orbs and it does happen by bumping into other cars and also using the spin move to destroy cars as well. This is such a cool addition to the gameplay that it just feels natural and right at home. And you do level up as you play more and more and you also earn tickets and these allow you to go into Grand Prix which is a lot more of the tougher races with a lot more skilled players and this usually is a five track race to the finish and see who survives. And another cool incentive to keep on playing is you unlock more and more colors and attachments to your cars just for the visual aspect of it. And you also unlock all the levels as you race on them to practice. And before we get to the graphics, let's talk about the iconic music. If you don't already know, F-Zero has one of the best soundtracks when it comes to racing. It really is action pumped with tracks like Mute City and Big Blue are one of the standouts that a lot of the series has always used. And this is the music that you've been hearing in the background and it's just so hype and it makes you want to race. Nintendo always knocks it out of the park when it comes to the F-Zero music. Now what you have been seeing is the graphics and art style and let me just say this is one of the cleanest smoothest running game with everything going on it runs at 60 frames per second and the fact that this is a pixelized 3d game where it looks like the aesthetic of the snes classic everything just looks clean and vibrant with all the hectic destruction and racing going on you are able to tell who you are and although it looks simple it just works very well and it's very pleasing to the eye with all the bright colors and that mode 7 look even though it is using real 3D polygons. It just looks amazing. Not only does it look great docked on the big screen, but it looks amazing on the Nintendo Switch OLED with the bright blacks and vibrant colors popping out of the screen. Everything looks clean and runs smoothly. So what did you guys think? Have you guys played it? I highly recommend you play this game and it's available now for the Nintendo Switch owners. It's free to download, go ahead and check it out. I know you won't be disappointed. Just give it a shot. This is one of those addicting games that you can play on and off in between other games. And hopefully this is just a taste of what we'll get eventually with that rumored F-Zero GX remastered for the successor Switch or whatever is next. 
but it's great that at least a lot of people will be able to try this out because it is a free download. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you later. Bye.